hill. Focus on it. Glad to get that off my house.
All right, guys, we are done for today. How you feeling? Tired, ready to go in. <laughs> yeah. Another hot day today. Yeah. But as you can see, we got all the trim up on all the windows and doors. All the corners are done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is where it really starts to take shape out here and look more like a house. Once again, here's the, uh, the west side where my bathroom is. There's my bedroom. Once again, that window unit's gonna be gone. We're gonna have a mini split system if you're new to the channel. And then back here's my bedroom, the double windows. Got the corner all trimmed up, front door. And then over here in the living room area, got the other double windows framed up. We're gonna go back in with a little bit of trim in the middle. And then once again, over here on the uh, east side is my living space. So you have a fireplace here in the middle. I'm just gonna say, we're gonna come back and uh, he can. I am. <laughs> Come back in and make sure all the nails are flush and then those that have penetrated a little bit too far he's going to backfill them with or uh, when dad was shooting blanks in and the wall. sometimes it'll it quit shooting and it'll poke a little din in it yeah. so he's going to fill those up because it breaks the fiber yeah but for the most part uh the nails went in pretty good i'll show you real quick a practice board if this is your first time doing this you want to test out your the level of your gun and make sure that Everything's nice and flush. It took a, quite a bit of tries to get it done. It's kind of hard to see it a little well, dark. One of these was we were using some other nails that weren't the right degree. And that's why somebody worked that way. And I said, hey, wait a minute. Yeah. Started looking. I said, wait a minute. These, this isn't the right nails. So he went and got the right nails for the other shooter. And uh, we're going to put a little starter strip yeah. all the way down across the bottom. It's only going to be about two inches wide. And uh, what that does is when you overlap the other one, it automatically holds it out. So. Yeah, and we'll go back up, finish up a little bit of paper here. And then, like I said, we'll be ready to yeah. start putting up the siding. Most likely on the next video. Like I said, this was a all-day process in between taking breaks and stuff. And as you saw, we took several breaks that were some we didn't film. But I just wanted to incorporate that in the video because people are always worried about us being out there in the heat. But one good thing is we're not up on that freaking roof anymore. Oh, so that's that wore us out. But anyways... uh. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, a lot of builds, building stuff is coming here soon. So a lot of interior work and- be a oh, lot of changing coming in pretty quick on the siding. Yeah, so. and uh, I'll end it with this. Still not 100% sure what color I want to do this house. It's either going to be a white, uh, white siding, black trim, or possibly a light color trim, uh, green siding. Maybe like a, a sage. Sage green, maybe something like that. So if you have any good ideas, comment down below because my mind is wide open right now on what we're going to do. The, possibilities are endless so anyways appreciate you guys for watching and we will catch y'all on the next one peace